I had a person call me and say, why don't you deputize citizens who have guns to come out and patrol the city of Kenosha? And I'm like, oh, hell no. The, uh, and what happened last night, and I think Chief Miskinnis is going to talk about it, was probably the perfect reason why I wouldn't. Once I deputize somebody, they fall under the Constitution of the state of Wisconsin. They fall under the county of Kenosha. They fall under my guidance. They have to follow my policies. They have to follow my supervisors. They are a liability to me and the county and the state of Wisconsin. I don't know this for sure, but the incident that happened last night where two people lost their lives, I think they were part of this group that wanted me to deputize them. As a part of the, the county of Kenosha, that would have been, in reality, two deputy sheriffs who killed two people. I, that would, it would have been a, one, one deputy sheriff who killed two people. Sorry about that. And the liability that goes with that would have been immense. So that's one of the things that was brought up to me, and I just I said, there's no way. There's no way that I would deputize uh, people. One of the things that, that we had problems with last night is a lot of protesters come for the show. I mean, there, there's good protesters who come and pray and kneel and do all that stuff, and, and they chant, and I got no issue with that. I was, I was doing it several weeks ago, and I'm good with that. But there's some, and we've got several that come here from outside Kenosha. They come from Illinois. They come from north of us. However, we've heard uh, some people may have been arrested from Green Bay, Milwaukee. Uh, they're coming here. They have no desire to protest. And I go back to social media. One of the invitations looked like a party invitation, something you would get from your brother to come and see your niece's uh, graduation or her birthday. Come, wear your black, uh, wear your black outfits, wear black masks, bring your backpacks filled with Molotov cocktails, rocks, uh, and whatever else they may have in those backpacks. So that was the invitation that, that went out, out. And I think there's something going on tonight. I'm not exactly sure what it was. But I go back to, I think some people are thinking that I should deputize. We should have these people out there with guns under my authority. What a scary, scary thought that would be in my world. And part of, the, part of the problem with this group is they create confrontation. The people walking around with guns, if I walk around with, in uniform with a gun, all of you probably wouldn't be too intimidated by it because you're used to officers having guns. But if I put out my wife with an AR-15 or my brother with a, uh, a shotgun or whatever it would be walking through the streets... You guys would wonder, what the heck is going on? That doesn't help us. Um, we are set up. We're going to do the curfew until uh, Sunday right now. It can change. This is all fluid. We're going to do the 7 p.m. curfew until Sunday. And it might continue afterwards. It might get finished before. It is for, it is, it is to this point, it's the interstate and east, a 7 p.m. curfew. For those that, that this... Uh, puts a hardship on, I'm sorry, I really, really am. But it's something we have to do.